So this video is going to be a full day of keto carnivore eating and this is how my perfect day would play out if everything went my way all the time. So as you all know, I love a coffee. So to start my day with a bulletproof coffee pre-workout, that's what we're going to do. So to this coffee, we're going to add two sachets of coffee, 15 grams of butter, 15 grams of MCT oil, and a pinch of salt. Now this is a total of 250 calories with 26 grams of fat. So as you all know, I like to blend my bulletproof coffees, but I don't have that luxury at the moment because I'm currently on holidays. So I just give this a really good shake and that should be fine. So I'm going to finish this coffee, then head to the gym to train chest and I'll be back for the first meal of the day. I'll see you soon. So I'm back from the gym. I had a great chest workout considering I am a little bit ill and it's time for the post-workout meal. So I try and have this meal within the hour after the gym session and I think that's probably beneficial as far as hypertrophy goes. And today we're working with a 450 gram steak fried in butter, six free range egg yolks fried in butter and then of course a cream coffee to finish it off. So there you have it, the perfect post-workout meal. Now this is about 1400 calories, 120 grams of protein and 102 grams of fat. So it is a little bit higher in protein, but as it's the post-workout meal, I don't think it'll be an issue. Anyway, time for a taste test. Delicious. And although I eat steak and eggs every day, they're satisfying every time. Anyway, I'll eat this post-workout meal and then I'll come back later in the day for my final meal of the day. I'll see you soon. Welcome back. So it's mid-afternoon and it's time for my final meal of the day. Now this meal is going to consist of 350 grams of bacon, another six free-range egg yolks, and of course another cream coffee. So the final meal of the day, bacon and eggs. So we're looking at about 1,650 calories, 59 grams of protein, 133 grams of fat, and some trace carbohydrates in the bacon and the egg yolks. But in the scheme of the day, these small amounts of carbohydrates are insignificant. Now let's look at the total calorie intake for the day, considering that these calorie counting apps can have a margin of error. We've got approximately 3,300 calories with 179 grams of protein, which is about 22% of the total calorie intake. And then we've got those 10 grams of carbs, which is just trace carbs from the bacon and from the egg yolks and the cream. And then the rest of it's made up with fat. So although I follow a keto carnivore approach, some people like to say that I should promote myself as a carnivore advocate. But as you can see here, these macros are very much ketogenic. And this is where I feel and perform my best. I mean, let me just get a little bit of this bacon and eggs. Once again, I eat bacon and eggs most days and it's always satisfying and it's always delicious. But anyway, that's my full day of keto carnivore eating. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.